I'm Margaret Pomerantz and I began wearing earrings for the very first time in my life on the very first movie show and I was edged into this by my friend Margaret Kirkwood who's a jeweller and I had very short hair at the time and she said I know what you need you need earrings and you need big earrings and so I started wearing earrings and there wasn't a week that went by when I didn't wear a pair of her earrings for years and years and years. I've got to get long ones now because my hair has grown so much but but that was the impetus for me to to wear earrings and and you know they've been sent up by Rocco in the <laughs> in the Herald <laughs> but but it just became part of me on air. If I don't have earrings on, people go, where are your earrings? <laughs> but I, I feel sorry because a lot of people send me earrings because they've noticed the earrings and they send me earrings and I, they're always for pierced ears and I've got to say, thank you very much, but I, I can't wear them. <laughs> And I've never been inspired to have pierced ears. I didn't wear very much jewellery at all. I cannot think back to being a jewellery wearer. I didn't, I, I did at one stage, I mean I lost a couple of very precious pieces recently um, and there were rings and I went swimming in the ocean and I didn't take it off before I went so um, we've been walking up and down the beach with you know metal detectors trying to find it but I think it's it's gone. Well it was given to me by a man who really in a way shaped me and gave me confidence to be what you want to be and uh, he was Jewish, it had belonged to his father um, and his father had died in Buchenwald and so that ring symbolised really a lot. It was me growing up in Europe and learning about a lot of significant things. So yeah, that was, that was really upsetting. I'm very much, I suppose, a minimalist in most areas of my life. I'm not a frilly person and so I like clean lines and Margie is very much the same as that. Uh, so we've got very similar taste as well. So it was a marriage made in heaven, really. <laughs> the beautiful thing was that she knew me very well and she designed for me. And that's really a beautiful thing to have such a gorgeous jeweller knowing you and designing for you. It just emerges from, <laughs> from her studio and uh, I cannot think of a time when uh, there was something that I couldn't wear or wouldn't wear. I do have certain earrings that I particularly like. There are uh, some diamond shaped that are very austere and plain and, and beautiful and I like wearing those a lot. You can see, you know, she was very inspired by Australian uh, flora and these are flannel flower inspired earrings and with my short hair they they look great so I had these and I had them in silver and, and gold so I had a pair for every occasion Margie is constantly evolving as any artist ought to be and so she takes me along with her on that uh, she'll have an idea for a new style of, of earring or necklace. This is her necklace. And I'm not a necklace person, but I put this on and 
I thought, wow, it, it looks great. It's such a, an art piece. Um, and it's something that I would, would be very happy to wear. So I, I roll along. She's, she's the pusher and I go, yeah, I'm, I'm coming along with you for the ride.